Guys, being in your vehicle is just part of life. Uh, we drive to and from work, we go different places. Uh, the vehicle is the mode of choice for most people. And because of that, you really need to be careful when you're in your vehicle to have the right tools in case you're trapped. Uh, one thing that I'm gonna look at today is the in-gear auto escape tool. If you ever get trapped in your vehicle, having a tool like this is just a must. Now the guys at InGear got in touch with me. They had been watching my Sensible Prepper channel and they thought that this would be something that I would want to take a look at to offer you guys. And you know, when I got it, I was like, this is a nice piece. Now the Auto Escape Emergency Tool is about six and a half inches in length. It's an inch and a quarter in width. There's a nice hard anodized finish on an aluminum body. Uh, it has a rubberized sleeve right here that's navy blue, but it also comes in black. Uh, this is a good solid feel to it. It weighs 6.2 ounces. So this gives you a little bit of heft over some of the other tools that I've had. This is not a cheap gimmicky type tool. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there on the market, but this is a good solid quality uh, item, I think, and something you really want. You want something with quality if you're really, you know, depending your life on it. Now this little pad is for your flashlight. Uh, and you have a uh, 135 lumen, it's XP E3 LED, so it's good quality. You press it again, you go down to the 50 lumens. Uh, this will last for 20 hours. The 135 lumen will go for 4 hours and 15 minutes. Then we'll go into the SOS mode. And uh, this is a good bright, it's at the 135 lumen setting. Now you can see the LED, it has a polished aluminum reflector and it's pretty deep. So you're going to get a really good pinpoint, and I really like that. I like the throw. With the light on, we have 135 lumens, the 50 lumens, and then we have the SOS strobe. It's a good pinpoint beam, and that's one thing I really like. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you've got your extended battery life I mean, with the 50 lumens. Here with the lights off, we have the 135 lumens. We have the 50 lumens. And then we have the strobe. So it's going to give you a good bit of light in an emergency situation. You can see how dark it gets. So I think the light is good to go. Now one thing I failed to mention is the light is IPX7 rated, which means it's waterproof up to one meter. And then it's also shockproof to one meter. So you've got a good durable light as well. But also featured right here is a glass breaker. Uh, this is actually a hardened steel ball, probably a ball bearing of some sort. But underneath this little cap, and it's just compressed fit, so you can actually pop this off with one hand if you need to. Uh, you have a seatbelt cutter, and this is a high carbon steel blade. Uh, the good thing is the way it's cut, it's going to keep you from cutting yourself. And here you can see the small screws where you can replace the blade if you need to. Now, I didn't have any seatbelt material, but I do have some of this webbing. Uh, it's not as stiff as seatbelt material, so I think that this is going to be a little more difficult to cut. And so I thought this would be a good test. We are going to put it in the vise and get some tension on it. Here we go. We've got our cutter. Going to get some tension. There we go. Cuts really well. You just get that cut and it pulls it. And guys, I'm telling you, this will be harder to cut than a seatbelt. And then we have a tungsten tip glass breaker on the end. We're going to test this little tungsten tip on this piece of glass. This is actually a Ford uh, automobile window. Now one place they say is to either hit in each of the corners. Don't hit in the middle uh, and then when you hit it. Now I'm going to put on gloves. One thing I would recommend is to maybe take a shirt or something and wrap your hand before you do this. And of course safety glasses are important. But we're just going to kind of tip it right here and we're going to see how it does. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's pretty incredible. Also, they recommend either a side window or the rear window, not the front. And then it has sealed O-rings to keep this from corrosion, especially that blade, because those blades will turn if you're not careful. And then the cap just fits right back over the light. One thing too, and this is something they don't mention, uh, is that this can be used as a self-defense tool. 
Uh, it, there is a mount included. We're going to take a look at that. But this is also could be used, especially with that hardened uh, steel ball at the end. You could use this in a defensive situation. And with road rage the way it is, that is a good possibility. Now here's the box that it comes in. And I want to show you because of all the features you get with it. Uh, first off, of course, you get your light. Uh, you do get three AAA Duracell batteries. There's a small cradle here that fits your three AAA batteries. I like that because AAA batteries are fairly common and they're easy to come by, much better than the CR123s. The batteries just go in with the negative side toward the spring. Really simple to install. Just drop it in, return your head of your flashlight, and you're ready to go. There's also a mount included with adhesive strip, and you can just mount this to your car. And there are a couple of self-tapping screws, which I really recommend. In fact, when I did mount this on my car, it did pop off one time. And so I ended up using the self-mounting screws. And this just cradles right into the mount. So this makes it really easy to be able just to get with your hand and to be able to pull this off. You just want to keep this mounted in a place that you can reach in case you're in an accident. Okay, here I've got the mount set and I have the self-tapping screws. I highly recommend those. Take the tool, it goes right in. If I need to get to it, I can just pull it right off. And it's easy to get to. I can reach it from my seat and that to me is critical. Uh, this is a magnet right here that I can keep a pistol. <laughs> and this is now a permanent home for my auto escape tool. Now the auto escape tool carries a lifetime warranty on it. And so that in itself tells you, uh, you know, the quality that they stand behind it. Also, if you get it, you don't like it, you have a hundred days to return it with a hassle-free return. And I want to thank InGear for sending the auto escape tool. Uh, I think this is something really good and I'm, I really highly recommend you having something in your vehicle. So guys, I'll have all the links down below on where you can find these. And the price is $59.95. This is a great tool, not only for you, but for those you love. And honestly, to me, you should have some way of breaking that glass and cutting that seat belt um, in an emergency situation. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. test this piece. We're going to test the... Uh... I put this tarp down to collect the glass, but it shot out all the way out this way and then all the way back. I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, never mind the dog, but we have a big white German Shepherd. <laughs> so you might want to mind that dog. When you do go into those places, 